Well, it looks like we're going on another road trip. Got the Sanyong Muso outside, the Saracen. And where are we going? Well, we're going to collect our Mercedes 230 CE. We're just off to Whiteland now to Indispension to pick up a car trailer. We're going to be heading towards Newark. And then after that, it's off to Autosport. So we're checking out our travel lodge tonight. Let's see how the Muso handles pulling our Merc. Hmm, looks like we've had a stowaway. Luckily he's not still in there, otherwise uh, he'd be coming to the NEC. We're ready to go. Oh, now I'm going to struggle with this a bit. Hmm, ah! this is going to be an interesting one. Very well trimmed in here. Ooh, sunglasses holder. Perfect. Let's engage drive. Let's roll. Ooh, power. All round electric windows and an automatic gearbox. I know there are some random orders of things, but it is a bit early for me. We're leaving Silverdale. We're embarking on our adventure in the Sanyong. Muso. This is a Saracen. This is a 2.2 and it's got a six-speed automatic. Considering this is a big vehicle, likely well over five meters, it does feel quite agile. Now we're under the crag. Yes, back there I rolled a Ford Orion injection into a field. That's the thing about one of these though, isn't it? It's bulletproof. You always do feel like you're in a commanding position when you're driving a pickup. And the refinement in here as well. It's very good. It can kick as well. It will be a talky beast though, won't it, Ben? Well, that's it. It can tow three and a half ton, and it can carry, I think it's just over a ton in the bed as well. Yeah. Which we'll be testing over the weekend, because we're going to go and buy some gravel. You don't have problems getting out of junctions. It's a very well-matched gearbox and engine. Of what I've experienced now, I think it's going to tow that car with absolutely no problem whatsoever. I need to make sure I've... I've got something that's got a really long yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah, stop yeah. here bar, yeah. basically, yeah. Alright, yeah, you just drive them to it, pretty much. Yeah. You can see we're educated in trailers. <laughs> Big old beast. Yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and you. We have our trailer from Indispension on Whiteland. We've got our Muso. Let's go and get our Merc. I can't tell I've got a trailer on the back in the slightest. It'll be interesting to see how it feels with the car on. But with the trailer, no difference. It's not unnecessarily changing gears. It's just happily plodding along. What I have to remember is to stick at 60. <laughs> yes, that's a serious one. That's going to be the challenge. No, it can't be a challenge when you're towing. No, that is true. Quick update, you do notice it changed gear, but that's only through the tone. There's no difference in the driving whatsoever. You just hear periodically the revs go a little higher. That's it. Very good. Those three massive laybys for it. Fabulous. I didn't know they were here. You want it first. We're at Rivington, We've just stopped to refuel ourselves. Awesome car trailer. Very strong, very dependable Muso. Now we've got Supreme Test for it. Saddle with more. Because the M62 is the highest motorway in Britain. So it'll be interesting to see how it copes going up there. But with no car, should be child's play. Seems to be relatively economical. We've got 385 miles, and I'm sure when we set off, we had 398. Wow. It's because we're not used to travelling at 60, are we? <laughs> no, that is true. Right, let's join the motorway. Hi, Rivington, thank you. 
to kick down and see what happens. Speed. And we're back on the road again. That was painless. Yes. It's not the stillest day today, but this feels very well planted, even with a car trailer on the back. So we are getting a bit of bounce, but it's not overwhelming in the slightest, is it? No. It's, it's hardly good. noticed. Let's head up, saddle with more, and see what happens. You don't really notice you've got a trailer, to be honest. It just does everything it does without a trailer. You've got to be a bit careful pulling out of junctions and things and making sure that you take into account the swing of your trailer. But as far as the car goes for pulling it, pick up it should I say, absolutely no problem. It does change gear more so than if you would be just driving normally. But that makes sense because you've still got a fair bit of weight on the back. They've designed the Moose though so that it's a pickup that drives like an SUV. Well, I'd say they've succeeded. It is ticking all the boxes, isn't it? It will be interesting to see what it's like with the Mercedes on the back, but I really can't see it being a problem. These are, these beasts are designed to tow. It's very comfortable in the cab. Well, we're climbing saddle with more. Let's do a bit of a kick down and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. It just surges. Oh, gonna slow down. One cool feature Annabelle's just found is heated seats, which also chill three bars on both. And if you put it on chill, it does make a difference. It really does. And rather quickly as well. It does. Look at that. If I put my foot down. Really pull up here. This is part-time four-wheel drive. The option to change to 4x4 is here. We've also got descent control. So this is the highest motorway in Britain. The M62, 40 foot is swaying a bit. Braking's not affected with this trailer either. One well, thing I have noticed here on the bell is how quiet it is. It's well refined, isn't it? Very much so. Six speed automatic, the manual mode there. No paddles on the back of the wheel. But we do have a push button to start. No, we're not. The wagon is stopping. No. We has momentum. We has momentum. He's determined to smoke Van Hewitt. Or Van Hewitt. <laughs> yes. Put our foot down. Yeah, check that. Straight up to 62. Drop to gear. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, surging along quite happily up here. Yes. Not struggling at all, is it? Not at all. We've got 347 miles left in the tank and we've used two bars. That's fantastic. Well, it is for a trailer, definitely. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, it is and for, for a pickup, pickup. yeah. Yeah. Even when you're using the instant economy bar, even going up here, I'm using quite a bit of pedal and it's still only dropping to about you know, maybe 18, 19, and that's up a hill. I think that's, that's amazing. very good. Fancy transport, yay! Look at that cab. Whoa. Oh, nice. No, yes, I can't see. Yes, he's flashing us! Awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you for your service, boys. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to work out how many miles we've done now. We've done well over a hundred, haven't we? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's a nice, relaxed experience. The one thing you have to remember when you're towing a trailer is not to drive in somewhere you can't get out of. Just be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. I mean, you can always unhitch the trailer and do it that way. It wouldn't be the first time. I mean, how many times do we have to do it with a cater mod? Exactly. Yeah. Quick economy check. We're getting 27.9 to the gallon. 285 miles left in the tank and we've used a third. Very impressive. Get trailer. Yeah. Remember the trailer. We could have oh. go. We have a clear bit of road, and a lot of people are interested to see how fast a pickup hits 60. Let's see what happens. This is a 2.2, and it's got a six-speed automatic. Nice launch. Yes. 
of power. That was very smooth. Turn left. Well, this is testing the suspension. Yes, it Taking is. it very well, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually. I know we're laughing about it, but it's actually very well done. It is. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's more to it. Where a wheel comes off the ground. No. It's just about to get on the tread. Oh my god, it's just lifting me like a yes. <laughs> seesaw. It's alright. Is that better for balancing? Yeah. yeah. This one? Yeah. The straps are in the bag on the straps, other side. Yeah. It's nice to take a bite as well. <laughs> So if you're asking yourself the question, how easy is it to tow a car with the Musso? And the answer to that is, easy. it's very easy indeed. Yeah, it copes with everything. We're still getting 27 to the gallon as well, whilst towing 1.4 tonnes worth of Mercedes and a trailer. And it's very smooth. It is, yeah. yeah. And it's not changing gear unnecessarily still, even with that excess weight. It's remarkable. It's taking very much in stride. It is. And if I kick down, it'll still give me power to pull away. It's not as fast as it would be without the car, but it is still very good. And to be honest, we wouldn't be going much faster than this anyway, considering what we're towing. Exactly. So it's a win-win. I'm very impressed with this. Well, I drove thousands of miles driving a Hilux, towing a Caterpod back in a previous life. 
a Hilux with a single axle cater pod in the back and then I would run the cooking facilities and we got to our destination. Yeah, oh, fun days. Yeah, we've got a decent hill now and we're just surging up it, we really are. And if Annabelle turns around, you can see the Merc peering through the back window. Interesting, you had the Mark II Grando there. Mark II, sometimes known as the Mark I, but the one that was pretty much all Sanyon. And it has the same gearbox as the Merc behind us. Because no they ran Mercedes gearboxes. I'd forgotten that. Well, that's it, every Sanyon we've driven. I mean, you get seven year warranty, don't you? And that's fantastic. Yeah. You get great economy. You get a very good driving experience and you get excellent value as well. Yeah. You will find hard plastics and things like six speed auto rather than seven, eight, or nine. But as yeah, you can see from this road beat. trip, yeah, it it's doesn't skip not beat. affected it in the slightest. It's very smooth. Lots of power, very talky. The wind has now picked up. You can only tell because you can hear it. It's made no difference to the way the vehicle's handling. It's not swaying, it's not blowing around. It feels very stable. And with the trailer being loaded, it's very stable. There's very little bounce. That's the thing about the new so It's a big old beast, even without a car trailer. Stick yeah. a car trailer and a car on the back and it's colossal. Yes. You have the benefits of articulation then. <laughs> Men love pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, come on, move your big chicken pie. Uh, one thing you notice when towing, normally, is that your braking distances increase quite a bit. Well, this has increased, but not as much as you'd think. Nope, we won't. Here you go. According to this guy, yeah. it's automatic, so the barrier won't go down until you're through. Is it? Oh, hang on. To be up I need to. Two cars. I need. Right, you need the code to be able to get out of the car park. Well, I'll go to the. Let me go to the booth now. I'm going to give him the code. I'm going to say when he comes through, you need to hold it for two. Okay, got coming left. Don't worry about the curb. You want, you want, you want. Yeah, you're not when you're nowhere near it. Don't worry, don't worry about the curb. You've got your miles. Up. You've got him in the curb. It's fine. Well, on the right, you've cleared it. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, he, he had to go up there. But yeah, fine. but yeah, he knew he was going to have to hit the kerb. Yeah, I, was, I was a bit, I was more concerned with the arch and the stage has got rust on it. Yeah. I was more concerned about No, they're actually thing. quite solid. Perfect. Put the hazards on. Hey! Hey! Yeah, coming, coming, coming. Grab. I mean, look, that's crazy. I mean, it's, it's slightly slow, I expect, but not really. No, oh no, I was amazed. That's what we're going to say now if Annabelle just presses record. It's re we're recording. All right, cool. Well, hello then. Everybody. I was going to say, Joseph is now aboard of Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, and we're just going to have a bit of a discussion about how well the Muso seems to pull the Mercedes with the car trailer. Because the car trailer is going to be 700 kilos. And then the car's 1.4 on top of that. So it's straight, is it everybody? Um, yes yeah. it is, yeah. We've all noticed that it has absolutely no problem pulling it. It doesn't unnecessarily drop gears or anything like that, does it Joseph? It feels yeah. very well planted and it just pulls it with ease. I have towed before. Um, and um, Anything like a car? I towed a Strada Octavia. Oh did you? VRS oh, with, a right. with, a, with, a, with a Mazda 66. How far? Uh, about, about half an hour. It was about a good, a good 20 miles. How was that? Did it? It, it massively affected the performance. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it felt like that the, everything was going to break. Yeah. Um, oh. This, you don't even notice it half the time. The, 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 the main problem you've got is with the um, 
the fact that you can't just corner as, as you'd expect and also you're but you're you're pretty long given a seven ton lorry so that yeah that probably is the thing you've got to watch for but in terms of the speed because of the engine having so much torque i mean it's got 180 horsepower but um, the torque figure is 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 pretty considerable well it's just it's nice and quiet as well it's not laboring in the slightest it just feels no. really really good look at all the tractors oh wow is this like an agricultural show or something there must be another one but look at yeah. it my worst fear is going in somewhere and not being able oh, to Oh gosh, around. I understand. <laughs> no, we, yeah. we, we well, know there's that. A, yeah. You do that like, if you're dropping that off. Oh, I'm not dropping no, that not off, dropping that's off. just on the car. That's just literally, we're going to park. You know where the disabled parking is? That we said we were bringing a trailer and we said it was fine. It's so wide, this. I keep checking my mirrors and I'm so close to curbs and pillars and things. <laughs> I just turned my heated seat on. <laughs> oh, has it got a heated rear seat? It's got heated rear seats, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just wondering why on earth my bottom was getting warm. Uh, I say also spot, it's also spot, it's spot, it's spot. That's spot. brilliant, okay. I don't know, the same old parking all shows. We were yeah. going the wrong way, no yeah. blaming wonder. Straight on. Also spot, international. Did we, we came in this way. Yeah, we came in, this is where we came round. Look, that's where we entered. That's exactly right, ben. Yeah. So we should have just gone left. Getting, we're getting all, it's still recording. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I've just read that we're still recording. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. We're still recording. Yeah. There's a Rolls Royce Cullinan. There. Yeah, I know. Uh, what well, Cullinan? You mean Dawn? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Dawn. I, um, uh, Dawn. No. I don't know what the, I don't know what those are called. What the Dawn? No, they're called. Yeah, the that's a Dawn. Right. I think I think maybe. Look at this lovely E30 M3. Very stealth. Look at the width of the wheels and the arches, man. Have you enjoyed it? Um, yeah, I saw some really. I saw a car I'd never seen before in my life. I've got a Cox GTM. Never seen one of those before. Right, either. yeah. That's a junction. Yeah. This is a. You see how fast you were at the junction? No. Uh, that was a giveaway, wasn't it? Yes, totally. It was. The thing Four is, cars pulled out right in front of me. The thing is, that, that looks like a roundabout. It's kind of not. Yeah. When you're travelling at 60 miles an hour, this pulls with no problem whatsoever. However, at about 40, do you expect it to drop gears a little more than it would do because it has to find where it needs to sit to be able to comfortably pull. So don't be alarmed by that. You've got lots of creature comforts in the Muso, so it's perfect for towing and travelling along at 60 miles an hour. For example, I've got a heated steering wheel. And not only have we got heated seats in the front, we've also got chilled seats. Perfect for winter or summer long journeys. Your seating position is also very comfortable. Well, I've got an electric seat. I have an electric seat as well. Yeah, that's superb. Well, the Muso has been designed to be a pickup that's as versatile as an SUV. And it shows. I put my foot down. Go straight on for one hour and 44 minutes to M6. There we go. Start pulling. Back straight off and it drops into the correct gear. And then all I do is engage cruise control. That's very smooth, isn't it? Yeah. Touch faster. From standstill on a steep hill, it'll just pull no problem whatsoever. There's no body roll, really. No vibration very little noise it's a very comfortable place to be because you've spent a lot of time in this now over the past couple of days of way yeah well you do don't you when yeah. you start towing something you become one with it because you're aware of how it reacts to certain roads and surfaces and it's very good it's great value for money as well yeah. and combine that with the seven year warranty as standard well it's 28,000 plus that wow you get a lot for your money for this you do and we're still getting 26 to the gallon towing. Now we're going up a progressively steeper hill on the toll. It has dropped a gear, but it's done it very smoothly. The engine noise has picked up, but it's bound to. And now we're starting to level out. You can hear the engine tone dropping. And there we go. Let's change gear. Yeah. And the gear again. And economy is the same as it was as we were climbing the hill. But it hasn't dropped at all? Wow. No. That's impressive. 
But it's very quiet, isn't it, when it gets into Top Gear? Yeah. You can tell the wind's picked up a bit, but only because you can hear it outside. Well, it's not making on the any effect vehicle on the driving yeah. whatsoever. It's very well planted. It's not swaying around. Now, we've been towing on and off for, it's got to be about eight hours, hasn't it? Yeah. And we've got some tips. Most people will know these things, but it's worth knowing if it's your first time towing. It's the first time I've ever used a car trailer, so it's considerably wider than anything else I've ever towed. And it's amazing how much you use your mirrors in comparison. I mean, you're supposed to look in your mirrors every two seconds anyway, but the amount of people who do is negligible. But on this, you have to, especially with a car trailer. Even when I was going through the toll gates, I literally had two or three inches on either side of the wheel, which um, at one point was a bit, because uh, you have to lean right out to get the machine. I wouldn't have been able to reach, would I? No, you wouldn't. Because <laughs> no. well, we discussed didn't. that, didn't we? And I was just like, how am I going to do that? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was a real thing, yeah. You also have to remember, especially in, say, like a pickup with a trailer, you've got five metres, then you've got like another six or seven behind you. So when you're overtaking, say, an articulated lorry, indicate first when you th when you think you're at a safe distance, and nine times out of ten, People a wagon will, will flash you yeah. in. Yeah. Because they're aware that you've got a long trailer. Yeah. Date on economy is increased. We're now at 26.1 to the gallon. But now this is pulling extremely well. Because we're on a bit of a gradient, it is dropping gears, but it's not up, down, up, down, up, down, or anything like that. It's just doing it. And then when it gets to a point where it levels out, it just goes back into a high gear, and it's fine. Yeah, this is where the 60 years of experience that San Young have had of uh, building these type of vehicles really comes into play. Yeah. One thing I would have liked to see on this, and it would be really handy, is blind spot detection. And I do think we may have lane keep assist as well, because it is holding it. There could be sway assist and all types of things. I have to double check everything. Yeah. But it does feel well planted when towing. And don't be worried by the load you're carrying, because even if you stuck a ton in the back as well, it would still cope with it with ease. You will find when you're towing that cars are a lot more forgiving. They They'll you, hold yeah. back when you start to indicate out and things like that. And there ah, we go. Ah, somebody flashed, yeah. I think that the, anyone with, in their right mind with you know sensibilities to just give you a wide berth. Yeah, but they flash you out and they yeah. change lanes. Whereas in a car, people will sometimes try and pin you in a lane. Always give yourself enough room with the vehicle in front before you start to pull out. Use your indicator in good time as well. And also, don't make any sudden movements as you change lanes. Remember, you're articulated. So just slowly move into the lane and carry on. Same with when you're pulling back into the lane. Also, going around corners, bear in mind the swing on your trailer is not like the swing on whatever you're using to tow. Watch for curbs. When we were coming out of the car park before, there was no way on earth we were going to get out without going over the curb. So we just literally had to drive over the curb. And the Mercedes bounced, as did the trailer. But it's perfectly fine as long as you hit it straight. We were in a car park where it was actually very well looked after. The staff actually came out to have a look to make sure we were okay, made sure the barrier stayed up. Yeah. Just that kind of courtesy and consideration goes a long way. Dependent on the age of the car park, watch for the barrier. <laughs> yes. Now, we've had no problems today because we've been in modern buildings, modern car parks, whatever. But sometimes the barrier will drop after the first vehicle, meaning your trailer with car stops dead. Yes, you don't want to be stuck like a guillotine chicken. You really don't. No. Guillotine chicken. Don't <laughs> <laughs> light up, please. 